here we are on part two of the three sovereign lawnmowers. Let's have a look, see what Gary's done. Right, well, as you can see, things have moved on a bit. Um, he's given them a coat of primer and he's given the red rattle can paint and also a top coat of the Churchill 1K lacquer, which is actually impervious to fuel. So that's what they've got as protection now. He's done these two engines, he's given them a bit of a service as well. They've all had the, the uh, treatment, which we said in the last video. He's given them a bit of a rough paint, so let's have a little quick look at them. So, again, don't forget, these have just been painted with normal rattle can paint. And as you can see, we've got three different colours there. It doesn't really matter because uh, it's, as long as it looks nice and tidy, that's all that really matters with this. So they've been serviced. He's just got to change the spark plugs in them, as you can see there. We've still got the old spark plugs in them. But uh, yeah, as I say, all them rusty decks which you saw the other day, which were all on uh, redundant lawnmowers, lawnmowers which were basically thrown out, it's now brought them back with a new sense, uh, new lease of life. Right, so this is one he's typically, typically going to just strip down now. This is the last one here. As you can see, typical old rusty exhaust, they all suffer from that. The black covers are all going to be repainted. Literally just give the deck a bit of a repaint as well. It'll also repaint or clean up. This one actually looks alright, doesn't it? It's not bad, yeah. Probably might just need a clean up that one, but uh, if, they, if they do go rusty, you can paint them as well. And as it's a, an exhaust, they'll get done with the uh, very high temperature silver paint now, as you can see. So that's what we use there. There we go, just taking the exhaust off of this one. And as you can see, there's a little chamber here that fills up with dirt and dust, which you don't normally see unless you take the uh, exhaust manifold off. But things like this, when this gets chock a block, and also around the cylinder head and fins and all that, because these are air-cooled engines, these can actually cause the engines to overheat. So that's why it's always advisable to give these a good clean out when you take these apart. And as you can see, coming outside, it's just stripped the handles down, and they've just had a coat of paint. The actual wheel mechanisms on these ones look in pretty good condition as well, don't they? Yeah. So these ones, for example, here will probably just benefit from a little bit of a wire brush down and a little bit of lubrication. As you can see, the new toolbox is in, uh, in location now. And I've lost a lot of the rubbish on the shelves, as you can see. And it's all been put in the drawers. So at least we've got some sort of order now. Whereas, as you probably know before, all this was all sort of overcrowded now and things looking a lot tidier in here now so you may remember that first one which we started to strip down I actually said in there that he bought it the day before for £10 we did pull start it and it started for two seconds and then right, uh, conked out well Gary did strip that one down yesterday and he found the diaphragm was actually split on that one and there was also water in the tank as well so that's now been repaired so that should be fine now and as I say this is the last one he's working on now same sort of thing it's going to be the diaphragm and gasket that's going to get changed on this. It will clean it all up and all that. And uh, yeah, let's just have a look at the state of this carb. So for those of you who don't know, this is the diaphragm. And where was it split, Gary, on this on the other one? Whereabouts was it split? Uh, it would have been over that bubble. That one there. That's so. that one, isn't it? So that's the one where it's split. And underneath there, you've got a spring. So a lot of these lawnmowers, as I've said before in my other videos, that when they hunt up and down, they need a new gasket and diaphragm. Now I mentioned to us someone on, on my YouTube channel was having a problem where this primer bulb was coming out very, very slowly or getting stuck in. Now there's a couple of reasons for that. One is that this strain at the end here where my little finger is, this gets uh, blocked up and as a result of that it can't suck up enough fuel from the tank. Another reason is is that the actual primer bulb itself loses its elasticity and uh, that, that can cause the same problem as well as I say I've had these before when when the carbs on the actual lawnmower and they've been running and you can see it sucking in by itself and that can possibly be that this filter as I said to you is blocked so give that a good clean and make sure that is clean as well and also one more thing to check as well is to make sure that your your fuel cap one is the correct cap. I've seen a lot of people put a normal cap on there. They might have lost their old one or their other ones have got holes in, which are your ventilation holes. And a lot of people change that for a standard cap. 
The trouble with that is if you've got a standard cap on there off of a, like a container or whatever, there's no vent holes in there. And as a result of that, full fuel can't get sucked out of the carb. Then you also might see that primer bowl getting sucked in as well. And the lawn mower probably wouldn't run, as I say, because you can't suck enough fuel up from the tank because there's no holes in the actual cap for the fuel tank. So there's a pretty poor design on the Briggs and Stratton ones on these classic engines, for example, where the holes are on the top and they do let a lot of water in. And Gary said that after stripping that one down yesterday, he also found a lot of water in the tank if they've been left outside. So that's just another thing to be mindful of. If you've got a primer bulb issue where it ain't coming out or as you're, as you're using the mower, you can see the primer bulb being sucked in. It could be one of them faults, which I've just said. Right, well, here they are. The three mowers now have been refurbished. And as you can see, looking very, very nice. Well tidier than what they was. This one hasn't got a grass box, never mind, but um, I'm sure we might have another spare one floating about. But um, I'm sure you can see that they're all lovely and tidy now. Not perfect, not trying to get them perfect. But as you can probably see, definitely have got their lifespan extended. There we go. Three lawnmowers, just over three hours invested on each one, nine hours in total, and you've got three working mowers again. Someone's gonna get them, and there's a profit in it for Gary. Okay, thanks very much. See you in the next video, and until then, bye for now.